Hey, hey. Literally, how do you how do you start a video like this? You've probably seen from the title. I'm doing video on my favourite things to watch on Netflix in 2017. Whoop whoop. I'm just I'm making this video because I like watching these videos because I like finding more things to watch on Netflix. Even though I've got enough series going on, I don't really need another series to be watching. But I just love to know what what people's recommendations are. I'm just gonna go straight into it. Yes, you might be like, why am I wearing a jacket? But I'm cold. It's cold in my house. It's cold outside. It's cold everywhere. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm wearing a jacket. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my old favourite, Dexter. Loads of people have heard of Dexter, loads of people have watched Dexter, but if you haven't watched Dexter, it's basically about a guy who is in the forensics department of a police department, so he's a forensic, he's a blood splatter analyst guy, so he's someone in the police department, but he's a serial killer. So that's not really a spoiler, you'll find that out straight away. Um, so basically it's just following his life, but he's a serial killer, he only kills bad people. So, you know, every episode there's a different situation where he's killed someone, but he works in the police department and they're trying to figure it out. It's the first episode, the first episode is a bit horrible. It's not, it is something that is, you know, you do see a lot of death, but it's not, it is graphic, but it's not horrendous. Like, I don't really like graphic things. Um, I don't really like blood, which sounds weird because he's a blood splatter analysis guy. Um, I don't really know what he's called, but I can handle Dexter. So and I don't like needles, but I just look away at those parts. But I don't know, it is, it's not gory, but it is graphic. But I think you can get, get over it. <laughs> like you can push through it. It's not too bad because I don't like blood and stuff and I can push through. But the first episode, you have to give it a few episodes because of a, like I think with any series though, you have to give it like three three episodes minimum i'd say mm, i mean i'm kind of gonna i'm kind of gonna go i mean i'll stick with it for about five episodes but i think three you you get where it's sort of going and it does get better and better and it is really good it's like it's one of those where i think it's really good throughout that series so yeah i'd say dexter give it a go give it three episodes see if you like it it's worthwhile and there's quite i like a series with a lot of series lot of seasons on it so that I can really get into it. I know this one's Pretty Little Liars but I don't even think I watched it in 2017 because I used to be die hard like massive Pretty Little Liars fan and then I don't know I think it hit season six and I was a bit like oh I think once you found out who A was it just went downhill when I couldn't be bothered with it anymore I didn't want to watch it so I'd say up until then I loved it so that's worth that's a good one to watch but then I don't really know because I stopped watching it because I didn't I wasn't enjoying it anymore but up until season six it was a great one it was a great little series but I'm not sure about that one but I am sure on Vampire Diaries the Vampire Diaries and I know I loved Twilight so I loved Twilight and I like when I was younger but I, ha I hadn't watched it for a while and I watched it back the other day and I was like oh my god why do I love it so much like is a bit cringe or whatever and the vampires but I do I've always liked vampires don't know I love vampires um just check I haven't got a lipstick on my teeth no I think we're good um so if you like Twilight so if you like me I like Twilight so the sort of vampire diaries I sort of saw it as a copy like it was going to be like a trying to be vampire diaries but not so I tried it because of all things, my boyfriend, yeah, my boyfriend was obsessed with Vampire Diaries. Weird, don't even go into it. Um, so he was like, oh, I really want you to watch it because we have a series that we watch together and then obviously we have series that we watch alone when we're not together. Um, so I needed a new series to watch when we weren't together. Um, so he said, try it, please try it. So I tried it and I didn't like it because I was all this, oh no, Twilight's better, this is just a copy, blah, blah, blah. And I gave it a whole season. I mean, I gave it a lot of time. The season is really, the seasons are really long of Vampire Diaries. They're like 20 something episodes. And I was like, wow, this is a lot. But I gave it, I think I gave it like a whole, I did, I think I actually did. I gave it a whole season and then I was into it and now I'm obsessed with it and I love it and I watch it every waking minute. I've watched about three episodes today already and I just love it. I do just love it. Um, so I think you have to get into it. Another one you have to get into. Unless 
you're not a diehard Twilight fan already. Maybe if I didn't have the Twilight thing in my mind, I would have got into it earlier. But I gave it a season, which I know it's a lot to give something, but I did it for my boyfriend and for myself because I wanted to. I wanted to like it, and I'm obsessed. And I'm Team Damon. And oh my god, I'm just. I love it. I mean, I'm only on season four. I'm at the end of season four, so I'm not that far into it actually. But I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed. The next one is Top of the Lake. This is a really weird one. I'm not, this is, if you like weird ones where, I don't know, there's no characters in it where you, it's, it's like a one season thing. I think it's like f five parts. So it's like five episodes or maybe six. And it's just a, one, one of those like one story things, whatever. Um, but I mean, it was one of those where I watched, we watched, me and my family watched five episodes of it. And we were like, I still don't understand what's going on. It's one of those where you don't understand what's going on until like the last episode which sounds really rubbish but you've got to I think you've got to try it it's one of those wacky ones which isn't like mainstream it's a bit weird it's basically about a girl that goes missing but they sort of know w w where she is the whole time this is what I don't get but it is a really good ending um so yeah I don't really know what to say it's a really weird one uh, but it, it's one of those you just whack on, you have to concentrate, it's not one of those in the background vampire diaries you can sort of whack on the background, you do need to concentrate because it's really com complicated, but it's a weird one that you might want to try, just put it out there because I watched it and I thought it was okay. Next one is Suits, that's the one I watched with my boyfriend, that's our joint series, um, I love Suits, it's come, basically it's about a guy who He, oh, I don't want to give something away. I don't think I would. Um, this guy like cheats on the law school papers because he's got a photographic memory, and then he makes money from that. But then he gets found, found out or something. Anyway, basically he's just trying to. He's he ends up getting a job, but he never went to law school. And it's all sort of about. It's not about that though. It's about different cases and stuff. And it's really good. We're on, I think, season four, again, end of season four or something. And what, it, what people do have, I have heard people say about Suits is that it gets to a point where it starts to flag. Um, and I think we've reached that point, but we've pushed through it because I wanted to get past it and see if it, you know, did get better. I did give the time to it, but you can always, it is one of those series where it gets to a certain point, you're like, oh, right is this is it going to be like this forever now but there's a lot more seasons so i'm sure it will get better so we've pushed through that i think it's end of season four sort of area um we pushed through that barrier and we're on the other side and it's getting better now it's getting better now but there is that barrier that you have to push through but apart from that it's amazing it's addictive and it's got our future princess in it so what's not to like to see what she's really like even though she's acting so Anyway, I love Megan Marple. Next one, Stranger Things, obviously. I mean, I'm going through very obvious choices here. I was one of those people that was like, oh, I don't want to watch Stranger Things. I don't really like fantasy. I don't like sci-fi. I don't like that sort of thing. But I gave the first series a go and I was like, I liked it, but I wasn't, I wouldn't, I wasn't a diehard Stranger Things fan. I wouldn't be like telling everyone on the street, like go watch it. Um, not that I am now, but on the, on the first series I was like, okay. Yeah, it was better than I thought, actually. The second series was a lot better. I really, I preferred the second series a lot more. It was like one episode which was a bit flaky, you know, a bit like, ugh, okay. But I preferred the Stranger Things second series than the first one. Um, but there's only two, obviously. But I do think you, people that are thinking, oh, they don't like sci-fi, they don't like fantasy sort of stuff, I'd give it a go. Because I didn't, and I got into it, and it was actually worth it. So, yeah, do that my phone ran out of storage fun times woohoo so i might have moved slightly i don't know i think i finished talking about strange things so i'm going to zoom on to ozark so ozark is like a seven episode series it's in one week i mean you can watch it in one sitting if you're me but you could watch it in a week like one episode a night it's one of those if you're between series just a quick one or whatever it's basically about a man who gets caught up in money laundering he wasn't actually doing it but then he gets roped into it because it's basically do it or die uh, and he has to move his whole family and it's about that sort of thing I think it was good for about five episodes out of the seven so I mean I feel like I'm bitching about all of these things why am I telling you about them but it was it was a good it's a good one I think if you watch it sort of 
I say in like four days so you don't drag it out so it's not one of those where you're like oh oh it's getting a bit long now so if you watch it like three at a time you'd be all good but it's good it just gets a bit dragged out at the end but it's definitely worth watching just don't do like me and watch one every like once a week and then by the sixth week you're like right is this ever gonna end the next one is girl boss this was one where i might have been ill in bed or had a day off or something and i just watched it i think i watched it in one day and it's like it's again one one season about 10 episodes maybe and it's about a girl who loses her job and becomes her own boss that starts selling things on ebay and i think it's a true story i'm not sure she starts a business called nasty girl and it's basically like like how that goes it's basically how she makes the money if she makes money um and how the journey the journey goes or whatever but that's a good one that's just a quick that's a good quick one again like if you if you were ill or something and you don't have to be ill but you know what i mean um that was quite good it's quite like a female empowering one check it out anyway and the next one is jane the virgin now this is a weird choice because i thought it, it was one of those sort of e4 i think i don't know if it was e4 one of those e4 like melissa and joey the really bad ones um jane the virgin it is weird it's one of those i think it's like spanish i don't know it's one of those it's quite corny and all that and but it is quite cute and put it on in the background and do do other things but sort of follow it along it's just a nice maybe when you're getting ready sort of one it's quite light-hearted it's i don't know I, I i quite like it i've only watched i think i've only watched two seasons of it i think there's a few more which i haven't watched yet but that's that's one to give a go <laughs> that's that's a good that's a good little i don't know that's a cute one to give a go let me know if you um you've watched any of these and you liked it or you just think i'm talking rubbish and they're all rubbish suggestions leave me a comment if you've got any other videos you want me to do or anything and i'll see you next time thanks for watching